Hello and welcome. You're watching the Property Show West Edition. I am Shweta Kothari and I have with me Naimunisa Khan, Head Research and Consultancy, South Lysis Forest. This is the show where we help you make right decisions for your property. But first, here's a quick look at the headlines. After missing out two deadlines, Maharashtra finally comes out with draft rules for Real Estate Regulatory Act, but opinions remain divided. A home for every budget in prime property market of Mumbai. Affordable housing options in emerging property destinations of Navi Mumbai. And also on the show, five reasons why Vadala in Mumbai is attracting young working population. Prime property market of Thane for properties under 1 crore. Value for money buys under 50 lakhs in Pune. And finally, why Dubai developers are betting big on Indian investors. After missing out first two deadlines, the Maharashtra government has finally published the draft RERA rules, which are now in public domain for suggestions. However, opinions on the rules are bitterly divided. While some allege that the rules are diluted, others say that they are fairly balanced. Ashwini Priolkar brings us the story. Maharashtra has finally published its draft rules for RERA. So far, the rules have received mixed reactions from the different stakeholders. While some feel that they are balanced, others claim that rules have compromised home buyer interests. The rules which have come out, uh, they are covering the existing projects as well. And I think this is one of the biggest thing in favor of these rules, because unlike uh, you know the rules for Gujarat state or for UP, there were a lot of exemptions, like existing projects were not covered. Whereas in case of Mumbai, in case of Maharashtra, all the existing projects are covered. And this comes as a big relief to the home buyers. Because as we know, you know, in Mumbai itself, there are talks about 200,000 houses being unsold. So all these houses which are unsold, which are under construction, will now be covered by RERA. The positives here include the fact that deemed conveyance is retained under the Maharashtra Ownership of Flats Act. All the ongoing projects which do not have occupation certificate will be covered under the RERA. Developer must make all the project disclosures within 90 days from the commencement of the Act. For ongoing projects without OC, 70% money received from the consumers will be deposited in the escrow account. However, in spite of this, the Maharashtra RERA has serious shortcomings that housing activists are upset about. We expected that something good is going to come for the home buyers. Unfortunately, the act is diluted to such a great extent. It has become a developer's in, a pro developer uh, bill than a pro uh, home buyer bill. It is very unfortunate. There is no nothing much for the home buyers. The list of complaints raised against the Maharashtra RERA relate to provisions unique to real estate development in the state. For instance, parking space can now be sold by the developer. This is against the 2013 ruling of the Bombay High Court. Unlike the Central Act, developers are exempted from disclosing their past track record. The state RERA also now allows the developer to change the building plan without the consent of the buyers after getting permission from the competent authority. And most critically, there is no mention of compensation to home buyers in case of project delay. There's a whole lot of confusion about these rules and we hope we have been able to give you a fair idea of what the most critical provisions are. As a home buyer, now is the time for you to study these rules and submit your suggestions to the government. But make sure you do this before the deadline of December 23rd. In Mumbai, with camera person Harmeet Singh, Ashwini Priyarkar, NDTV. Well, that's Maharashtra Reda coming under the scrutiny of home buyers. Our very first caller, Mayur, is on the phone line. Welcome to the show, Mayur. Go ahead with your question. Sir, hello? Yes, please. Go ahead with your question. Uh, okay, uh, sir, I have a Mumbai area. Uh, Mumbai is a area of flats. One BHK between 60 to 65 lakhs. Ready to go and possession within a six months. So, Naimunisa Mayur is looking for a 1 BHK in the Hisar area. His budget is about 65 lakhs. What do we have for him? Um, if you look at uh, the Hisar as a micro market, um, is, if he's from Mumbai, um, he would definitely know. But for, the, for other viewers, the Hisar is located on the western uh, suburbs. 
and uh, it's um, basically uh, residential in nature this lo uh, this location is predominantly residential in nature and uh, currently the one positive point about dahisar uh, which is standing out uh, in the mi micro market is that the upcoming metro station uh, the metro line that is going to connect along the western the, the entire western suburb from dahisar right up to bandra uh, is uh, is currently undergoing construction and uh, because of which the micro market will definitely uh, receive a positive impact in the coming future so uh, if you look at the current status of the micro market it's currently there are around 3900 units available in this micro market with the inventory overhang of 121 months which is a uh, slightly it actually not slightly high it's it's really high when compared even to the entire mumbai market which means that the demand in, in this area has been uh, slightly uh, uh, low and uh, correspondingly if you look at the price appreciation in this area it's almost been a negative so what i would um, like to suggest him is that if you are investing in dahi sir uh, do not look for a, a short term game or a huge price appreciation it's a good location in terms of um, your end user market because all your social infrastructure is in place the connectivity is good but uh, th this market will definitely uh, start going upwards uh, once the metro um, is in place uh coming to the projects uh considering his uh, price bracket the the three projects that we have suggested for him are imperial heights by sk heights uh then a delta realty uh delta garden phase 2 by delta realty and and ao eminante by ao uh, realty so um if you look at all these projects i think the possession is expected by mostly by um for sk heights i think is the earliest one it expected by to end of 2017 whereas in delta realty you might get a position by december 2018 and uh, ao eminante uh, is another project it's uh, priced at around 10500 rupees per square foot but possession might be by december 19 i think all these three would be good for you to look into the connectivity wise they are excellent So Mayur as Naimun said uh, don't look for a drastic price appreciation in this area of the Hisar and based on your budget we have three recommendations for you the first recommendation is Imperial Heights by SK Heights uh, prices here are about 8700 rupees per square foot the project has all basic amenities and it will complete by December 2017 our second recommendation for you is Delta Garden Phase 2 by Delta Realty prices here are about 7600 rupees per square foot and the project will complete by 2018 it has all basic and luxury amenities our third recommendation for you is by is of is by uh, AO, ao realty by known as the eao i mean eminante the prices here are about 10500 rupees per square foot the project will complete by december 2019 and it has all the basic amenities Next we have Shweta Singh who ha who has written to us from Navi Mumbai. Shweta wants to buy a 2 BHK flat. Her budget is about 65 to 70 lakhs. Uh what do we suggest her Naimunisa? Mm see um 60 to 70 lakhs budget in Navi Mumbai. I I would suggest that she should look for a location which is um uh, uh healthy in terms of an end user market the social infrastructure is in place as good connectivity in place so that she can easily travel from uh, uh, the peripheral uh, locations of navi mumbai till uh, dadar or till uh, or connect uh, back to the city and uh, belapur and washi all these areas so considering all these points in place i think kamote would be uh, the best location in that suited budget the weighted average price of kamote is around 6500 rupees per square foot uh, but if you are looking at a project which might get completed by 2017 i think you might have to increase your budget by 4 5 lakhs and i think it's worth it because kamote is a well established in social infrastructure plus in terms of connectivity also there are two railway stations in fact there are bst buses which uh, starts from kalamboli and they go right up to dadar and kamote is uh, also has a, a bus stop which on the highway for that so from connectivity point of view from social fabric point of view and um, also uh, from the product point of view i think kamote will be the best location for you uh, currently the price appreciation out here is around 3% over the past 2 years and the projects that we have uh, listed down for you in the price bracket that you had suggested was platinum uh, levanio by platinum developers this might get completed by early 2017 uh then there is silver crest by akshar developers this will also get completed by early 2017 and uh in fact uh 
in this project maybe um, I think the budget may have to be exceeded by around six seven lakhs more so please take that into consideration the third project is Pratik Garden by Pratik Enterprises. Uh, Pratik Garden has a very spacious 2 BHKs as well. So you can even look at a larger size 2 BHK if you're considering this project. So yes, I think even this project might be completed by 2017 like you wanted. So Sweta, based on your uh, budget, I think we would suggest you to slightly raise your budget for a requirement of a flat in this area. We have three recommendations for you. The first is uh, Platinum Livano by Platinum Developers. It is located in Kamote and you can get a flat here for 6,800 rupees per square foot. Uh, the construction is in advanced stages and uh, the possession is expected by 2017 of March. Uh, our second recommendation for you is Silvercrest by Akshar Developers. Prices here are about 7,000 rupees per square foot and possession is expected by December 2017. It has all basic amenities like gymnasium, swimming pool, children, children's play area among others. Our final recommendation for you is Pratik Garden by Pratik Enterprises. Uh, prices here are same as 7,000 uh, rupees per square foot. It is in very close proximity to Kamothe and Mansarova railway station and at a walking distance from Mumbai Pune Express Highway. Uh, the project has uh, amenities such as multi-activity lawn, uh, aromatic seatings, uh, play area, indoor games, among others. If you are looking to buy a property or in, are in need of any advice on buying or selling home, then write to us at property at ndtv.com. Please don't forget to write your full name and contact number so that our team can get in touch with you. Next, we have Jitender on the phone line. Please go ahead with your question, Jitender. Hello, ha. I am looking for two BHK uh, flat uh, for self use uh, in uh, on Kolshet Road, Thane, with area one zero three zero to one zero five zero, and I am having budget of one crore, and I can uh, wait uh, up to two two zero two zero uh, uh, up to two thousand twenty, uh, and I have chosen Loda Amara and Kalpatru uh, Imenta, and I want your expert opinion in that uh, which will be the better choice for me, and also my second question is. Uh, do you see any uh, uh, price correction in a couple of six months in primary market? So Naimun Jitender is looking for a 2 BHK under construction flat in Thane. His budget is about 1 crore rupees uh, and he's also wanting to know a question which every home buyer wants to know at this point is whether there is going to be any price correction in the future. See, um, in, uh, with regards to price correction, I think uh, we cannot see it in isolation. Uh, the demonetization um, will definitely have an impact on the market, but uh, I think having said that, uh, the the markets which were uh, which which are having an oversupply situation or uh, which had a lot of black money component, especially uh, I think the luxury segment is the one which may get more affected. Whereas the affordable and the mid segment uh, are the ones where most of the home buyers were availing home loans. So these markets may not get that affected. So um, I think right now we should all, uh, like uh, we everyone, the home buyers are currently in the wait and watch mode and are, are, are seeing that how the economic harmonies will un unfold in the coming months. Now, uh, coming to um, the question that you have raised, Kalpataru, Imansa, and Lodha Amara, I think both of them are located in Thani at, in, on Colshet Road, which is a fantastic location to be in, in in today's point of time. It's a habitable location. All the social infrastructure and physical infrastructure is in place. Connectivity-wise also, uh, you're well connected from Thani, from the Eastern Express Highway, and uh, even Pawai is very close by from both these projects. Uh, in fact, from the futuristic point of view, there is a metro corridor which is far-fetched in future which will connect Wadala to uh, Kasar Wadawali on the Gurbandar Road. So um, even fr from that perspective also, I think this area is, is a very good area to be in in today's residential market in Mumbai. Uh, coming to both the projects, I think both the projects, uh, Kalpatru and Loda, both of them are reputed developers. And in fact, they are only at a distance of 800 meters from each other. They both have the same kind of specifications. And even um, in terms of uh, connectivity and everything, because they are only 500 meters away from each other, uh, everything is going to be the same. So I think um, construction-wise, uh, uh, maybe Kalpatru hasn't started construction yet, and whereas Lodha Mara's construction is already uh, in place. But even... Uh, 
look at the trade off of the price points uh, kalpataru will come to you at around 8000 rupees per square foot whereas lodhamara is priced at 8376 rupees per square foot so uh, it, it's yeah, i mean you're um, it's up to you which is the design that you want to go ahead with what kind of layout you like um, i would personally recommend that if you want to like if you're very keen on deciding and making a rational decision between both both these you can probably check out the carpet area check out the room sizes and then decide which project you would like to go ahead with because they both are a go ahead for us in fact to add to your confusion we would also like to add one more project which is pride palms by gala group uh, the price of this project is slightly higher than the later two but the completion date is very close it may get completed in another six seven months or so so i think you should definitely check out this project as well if you want something which is uh, ready to move in very soon so yes that so Jitendra, it's a go ahead for your choice of Kalpataru Imensa as well as Lodha Amara from our side. Uh, but we also have another recommendation for you in uh, uh, Pride Palms by Gala Group and the prices here are same as the latter two. But the completion date is expected by mid-2017. Uh, next we have our caller, uh, Amit, on the phone line. Amit, please go ahead with your question. Yeah, my name is Amit Seth. I am working in South Side, uh, near future I want to settle in Pune and uh, I am related to IT software development, so which area in Pune is good for me uh, for investment to BHK? So Naimun Amit is looking for a 2 BHK in Pune, his budget is about 40 to 50 lakhs, uh, what do we suggest him? Um, if I think he's working uh, in the ID sector and uh, he's from the software background, he should definitely look at Hinjewadi uh, area. Uh, it is known for its Hinjewadi IT park, which is the Rajiv Gandhi Infotech IT park here, which has been the grow driver of this area since uh, the beginning. So I think, yes, um, the I think he also mentioned the area around Jain Temple Road in Jawadi. I think that is perfect in your budget. You should definitely go ahead with it. Uh, the social infrastructure also in this area is much in place. In fact, if you look at uh, like most of the people who are working in Hinjawadi um, uh, ID Park are staying in this location. Uh, the rental yield of this area is also very good because uh, there's a lot of floating population coming in because of IT. Uh, in fact, if you look at the available units out here, it's around 2,300 uh, units available with a price point of around 5,100 rupees per square foot only, which fits your budget very well. And um, the annual appreciation by in this area is around 3%, which is a, a, a is slightly average in the Pune market, but we hope that in the coming years, uh, uh, with uh, the in, as as IT will pick up and uh, there's a lot of future infrastructure also planned in this area. After which, there there might be a steady growth that you'll see in this area once uh, the inventory overhang is um, out of place. Um, coming to the projects that we have selected for you, uh, that, that is Citrine by Achilare Realtors and Wellworth Realty. Uh, this is priced at around 4,600 rupees per square foot, uh, which is uh, slightly uh, lower than the average price of this location. So it's a good deal. Uh, then the, we have Pebbles High Mount by Mittal Brothers. Uh, this in this you'll get multiple uh, sizes in 2BHK. So depending on uh, the kind of the the kind of layout that you like, you can uh, go ahead with uh, your choice. Uh, then the third one is I Trend by Kohinoor Group. Uh, this project uh, is uh, actually expected to get completed by 2019, which is uh, slightly late by, than the other two. But it's a good alternative uh, by Kohinoor Group and uh, even the amenities and specifications are really good. So you can definitely add it to your list. So Amit, based on your location preference, we've shortlisted three projects for you. The first recommendation is Citrine by uh, Achilare Realtors and Wellworth Realty, uh, located in Hinjewari. You can get a flat here for 4,600 rupees per square foot. Project has all basic amenities like children's play area, multi-purpose hall, indoor games, among others. Our second recommendation for you is Pebble High Mount by Mithil Brothers. Uh, prices here are about 5,500 rupees per square foot. Amenities uh, include both luxury as well as basic amenities like indoor games, multi-purpose hall, clubhouse, among others. Our final recommendation for you is iTrend by Kohinoor Group. You can get a flat here for 4,600 rupees per square foot. Uh, the project is in early construction stage and amenities uh, include both basic as well as luxury amenities. 
From being an industrial zone to an emerging residential hotspot, the growth story of Wadala is remarkable. This region has managed to carve out a unique identity for itself thanks to its excellent connectivity. No doubt, many home buyers are now looking at this region as the next real estate destination. So here are the five reasons why Wadala in Mumbai is on the radar of many home buyers. A few years ago, Wadala in Mumbai was known as an industrial zone. But over the years, this micro-market has developed significantly with improved connectivity and excellent infrastructure. If you go to see, you know, over the last 4-5 years, Wadala has gained a lot of prominence and a lot of importance from any other suburb in, in the city of Mumbai. Primarily because uh, Wadala has got the advantage of connectivity from roads, railways and uh, freeways. So these kind of connectivity which are coming in is definitely helping Wadala to gain a lot of importance and prominence. The average property prices here is 21,600 rupees per square feet. This micro market caters mostly to the mid and the high segment and it is preferred by the young working population. For reference, the emergence of Wadala has a lot to do with, uh, uh, like I mentioned, the proximity and access perspective. So it's, it's got a very large chunk of uh, service industry professionals. And when it comes to the service industry perspective, uh, they, they would like accessibility to be the key driver of uh, where they would like to live. So when it comes to the educational infrastructure, when it comes to uh, you know, the school, colleges, hospitals, it's well established. Here are the five reasons why Vadala is on the radar of home buyers. This region has excellent connectivity with Eastern Freeway, Monorail and Santa Cruz Chambur Link Road. Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority or MMRDA, which owns large land parcels in Vadala, have plans of developing it on the lines of BKC. This will definitely give a major boost to the development of the region. Vadala has seen the presence of many big ticket developers like Ajmera, Lodha and Dosti who have developed gated communities here. This region has an excellent social infrastructure and also a good presence of open spaces for people to chill and relax. And finally, the coming up of the Trans Harbour Link Road and the proposed metro corridor which will run via Vadala will enhance this region's accessibility. According to the experts, Wadala has everything going on for it, but for the presence of chemical factories and the absence of organized retail. And also the upgradation of existing infrastructure will be the key to its growth in future. In Mumbai, with camera person Malika Arjun, Ashwini Priyorkar, NDTV. Coming up, why developers from Dubai are wooing Indian investors and what's on offer for Indians in that market.